What is up, YouTube? Bringing you another guide. We got another one. Uh, today we are going to be covering Nemesis. Nemesis, very simple, very easy god to be played. Hard to fuck up too badly on this god, so I feel like it's a good starter god and definitely a god you want to know the basic build on. So, first item, Warrior Tabby. Straightforward, early game. You are 99% doing all your damage from your two and your ult and like the one or two autos you get off. You're not going to sit there autoing over and over and over again, so Ninja Tabby isn't going to do too much for you. Next item, what's up with the popular tab? That's weird. Next item is going to be a Jotun's Wrath. Um, Hydras is being built a lot first and second item on Nemesis on a lot of the junglers. After the nerf, I feel like it's not as good. Uh, the big perk of Hydras was you got 10% CDR for 1,000 gold as your first item after boots. Well, now that's 5% CDR. 5%, sure, just 5%, but... 10 was like minimal like it was you were only getting 10 percent off of that thousand gold so it wasn't anything crazy it was just nice to have but um with it being even less i really don't like the item i'd rather just commit to getting jotuns and having that pen and cdr and more cdr earlier uh it's just nice so i go with jotuns wrath as my first item then after that i follow up with a brawlers uh after that if the team has any slows or just the extra health would be nice. I like wing blade after wing blade. This is where your build can change and you can kind of do whatever you want with it. You can go a full penetration build and get a crusher and then get even more penetration and get a Titan's Bane. So this would just be a full ability based. I'm going to smack you. You have a little bit of attack speed from the wing blade, uh, a little bit of movement speed. It's nice. The build is awesome. Now, if you want to go a more realistic build, you can drop the crusher. And you can pick up a spirit robe, which is going to give you just about, you get 30% CDR, which is awesome. It's going to work out perfectly for you and your kit. You're also going to be up more. Uh, you have the wing blade still. You can still do a little bit of auto attack damage. And this is going to be the ideal build. This is going to be the team playing build. You can still 1v1 people if you get ahead. You still do a fuck ton of damage when your ult's up. Your ult's up more often. You can just keep 1v1 people over and over and over again. So with that being said, the style of the game early game you're playing off of your alts uh you're pretty much worthless unless the other team misses abilities or is just super out of position unless you have your alt so you're looking to alt the people that can't escape right away the people who have initiated and their shit is down someone that's caught uh anytime your team is around you the alts are going to be more useful make sure you're not alting the Scylla in the back line and then double dashing into that person to try to get to them because for one, you wasted your escape to get in. You're probably fucked. For two, you missed out on all the time. A lot of time your ult was up to do damage. More fucked. And for three, your teammates are nowhere near you. So you're super fucked. That's a huge way to waste your ult. Use your ult on close targets. People that are caught out of position. People who don't have escapes. Or people whose escapes are down. Now I mentioned the dash. The use of your dash is very important. Very rarely are you using it to get into a fight. Pretty much never. You're almost always entering a fight by looping behind them or coming in from the side or if they're out of position in your face, going right in that way. You're ulting that person. You're auto attacking them down. I like to ult somebody, auto a few times, and then slow so you get max slow out of all your abilities rather than ulting, twoing, and auto attacking because sure, they're a little bit slower, but the fact is they won't be slowed for as long. <clears throat> you also have to keep track of wing blade with the fact that both abilities in your kit are slows. Both of your damaging abilities are slows, and if you go and engage on somebody who's a wing blade, they can just run away from you, and it's kind of a bitch. So we covered the dash, we covered the use of the two, and we covered the alt. That leaves up your other ability, which is your shield. Do not waste your fucking shield. Your shield is good in 1v1s. Your shield is good against people whose CC is down, their control, their stuns, their silences, that shit. And it's good when you know incoming damage is uh, going to hit you. So if you're about to eat a Poseidon alt, Pop the shield. You know you're about to get Raijin's fucking full damage. Use your shield. If you know you're about to get Thor stunned, probably don't use your shield. It's just standard like that. You want to know what abilities can interrupt the shield and bring it down and what abilities are just going to go fully into the shield and heal you up and also reflect that damage. Pretty important. So on Nemesis, you're maxing your 2, you're maxing your ult, you're maxing your 3, and then you're maxing your 1. That's just how it's done. Your 2 is actually a decent amount of damage when used properly. Your ult, you want up and doing as much as possible all the time. You want to survive, so you level your three. And your one, like I said, is used as escape most of the time, so you don't want to be wasting that, and you really don't need it leveled up because it's not doing too much damage. Now, 
or your matchups um your early game sucks dick so anything that has a better early game than you and then can invade you, you're going to fuck you. So a really, like a Ratatasker that's invading can fuck you. Arachne, in general, can beat you. I talked about this before. Arachne is the best uh, 1v1 potential in the game. And you heal on Arachne. And Nemesis ults you and then you heal to full on Arachne and you're kind of fucked. So that's a really bad matchup. Now that Mercury has slow immune in the two, it's another matchup you might want to avoid. And then after that, there aren't too many matchups that I hate on Nemesis. Uh, Circuit can be annoying, but you can also shield some of the damage coming out of the ult. So Circuit ults you, and then you pop your shield. You can shield some of the damage, which is nice. So I'd say avoid Mercury, avoid Arachne, and the rest of your matchups should go pretty well in your favor. You pretty much just don't 1v1 anyone <laughs> that's going to be hard for you. So you don't want to take 1v1s against her cat. Don't take 1v1s against Arachne. Uh, 1v1s against Bastet can be kind of annoying unless you have your wing blade up. But all the rest are fine. And all the rest, as long as you're team fighting, you'll beat anyway. Thor is a good god for you to fight against. If Thor ever hammer throws, ult Thor instantly and just fucking kill him. Uh, if Thanatos misses a scythe, ult him instantly and kill him. If Ratatasker dashes, ult him instantly and kill him. It's just that simple. You kill the people who are out of position on Nemesis, and assassins, especially in uh, ranked and casuals, are out of position a lot. So just make sure you're looking for those people. Next up, we got our warriors. You destroy warriors. Your ult fucking takes all their protections away. You destroy warriors. Now, Nike, a little bit newer god. A lot of people don't understand Nike. Nike's one of the gods I would say Nemesis doesn't destroy, because if Nemesis ults a Nike, granted, you take away the protections, which is awesome, but Nike can ult and pretty much get all that health back so you're essentially still killing a full health warrior, which is kind of annoying. But all the rest of them, you do just fine against. You can kill Ama easy, Bologna easy, Chalk easy, Erlong easy. I'd say you really counter Hercules super hard. You counter Osiris super hard. Um, you counter Vamana extremely hard. Those gods that really rely on just standing in your face, um, you do very, very well against. So just remember that when playing Nemesis. Guardian-wise, same thing as Warriors. Any guardian that's supposed to be in your face, you crush. Uh, any guardian without mobility, you crush. Any guardian that's out of position, you crush. I would say Fafnir is the only guardian I don't like Nemesis uh, ulting over and over again. So the only guardian I don't like playing Nemesis against. Simply because you ult a Fafnir, the Fafnir can then leap away. Or the Fafnir can ult and then leap away. Or the Fafnir can leap, ult, and leap away again. So you're pretty much never going to catch a Fafnir. You really just want to make sure you can catch these targets you're ulting. Mage-wise, you should be fine against everyone. Anyone who's out of position, kill them. I would say Janus is probably the most frustrating because Janus has the highest mobility. You can portal through walls on Janus, and Nemesis can't get to the other side of the walls. And you're also really fast on Janus when using your three properly. So I'd say Janus might be annoying, might be a little bit harder. But if you know the Janus is out of position, just make sure that's when you're ulting and not when the Janus can ult out or portal out or just walk away. That's what you want to avoid. All the other mages, you should do just fine against um once again nemesis isn't necessarily like this god you counter it's like these immobile gods you counter or these gods who are out of position a lot have to be out of position to do certain things you counter them uh so gods like zeus Ra, um thoth in my opinion isn't very mobile uh granted the dash can be pretty far but because of the way thoth is played usually standing way in the back behind his team on nemesis if you manage to get to a thoth you can kill him pretty easily uh, Quang can be annoying because of the invis. If you get ulted on Quang, you just dash away your invis. It's going to be kind of hard for the nemesis to find and kill you. Everyone else should be generally okay. Nox might be a little bit harder because if you ult a Nox, Nox can then dash into somebody and take no damage during that entire time. So that might be something you want to avoid. Hunter wise, nothing that's going to be too difficult. Izanami is kind of the same thing. If you eat an ult on Izanami and then dash away in your invis, the nem probably isn't going to find you. But all the rest should be very simple. Um, none of them are too crazy. On her and Ul jumping over walls could be kind of annoying. Same with Ho Yi. Same with Izanami. Um, but it's nothing too wild. It's uh, it's nothing you need to worry about. And I was saying same with Izanami, meaning Izanami has a way to get away with the invis. Um, Jingwei's alt once again be annoying, but it's not so much. These gods aren't countering Nemesis. They're more of they have the escapes that make Nemesis alt get wasted the most often in my opinion i don't think many things hard counter nemesis i really don't i think nemesis is just a very generic good god 
similar to Thor, uh, where you can just play it into anything. And as long as you're not out of position yourself, you'll usually do just fine. Uh, so with that being said, I did the same thing on this one. <laughs> we'll go back to Nemo real fast. I didn't do actives. So actives wise, you're looking at purification beads, straightforward, 99% of the time. Your other active is completely up to you. I like blink on Nemesis because then you aren't wasting your dash to get into the fight. Uh, that's more of an aggressive thing where if your team is able to start the fights, pretty good idea. If your team isn't starting the fights, just go with Sanctuary. Uh, it's very good. You're usually heavy in damage and low in defense on Nemesis as an assassin and as a jungler. So Sanctu Sanctuary allows you to immune most of the damage that you're going to take. So just play smart, use the right actives, use the right abilities, play the kit the way it's supposed to be played, and you will do just fine on Nemesis, I promise. Uh, as always, if there's anything else I'm missing or anything else you guys want to see, just drop a comment asking for it. Say, this is what I'd like in your next video, blah, 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 and I'll do my best to add it. So have a good day, guys, and I hope this helps you out a little bit.